I, I am one. And I understand what they're thinking. I'm living in my 50-some-year-old house. It's just me and my golden retriever. My precious wife of 54-plus years has moved on to her forever home with our Heavenly Father. And as far as I know, my health is not too bad, except for some achy joints and maybe a bit too much weight. I do know that tomorrow or next week, all of that could change quickly. What would my sons decide to do with me then? Let's talk about that on today's Senior Insights. I tried to have some of these senior insight messages over the years to encourage us who are in our later years to admit that we probably won't always be as we expect or even as we want to be. This week I found an old recording from a precious friend of mine who sent me a message. She had just found out that she had several malignant tumors on her brain. It was certainly an unexpected turn in Sharon's life. None of us really know what tomorrow might bring. As believers in the God of all creation, the creator of heaven and earth, we know that he is full, completely in control of all these things. The psalmist tells us in Psalm 139 that God knitted us together in our mother's womb. He saw us before we were ever even formed. Before we were ever born, he knew us, and every day of our lives are written in his book. Every moment laid out before a single day's even passed. Oh, how precious are your thoughts about me, O oh Lord. Yes, God knows all that tomorrow holds for you and for me. Still, we need to have a plan for our family to turn to if we run into problems and quickly are not able to take care of them on our own. I am beyond blessed to have two godly sons who are willing, and their wives, willing to step up and make major decisions for me if I'm not able to do so by myself. It takes some legal, simple though, legal papers, giving them the right to speak for me when I'm unable. Uh, it also uh, gives uh, would have given my friend who was unable to make choices on her own those kind of choices. Her, her family could have done it for her. The medical providers need to be able to provide the care that you need, but also within the limits that you have decided on in advance. And you and your family may have already made those decisions, but it's your written orders that uh, make so much of a difference it's so much easier for everyone concerned for the family and for the doctors again this week I was with a gentleman in his late 80s uh, had serious kidney failure he kept telling the hospital workers that he just wanted to go home and but they convinced him to begin kidney dialysis treatments after three treatments of kidney dialysis uh, his numbers kidney numbers continued to fall it was getting worse. The treatments were not helping. He still kept saying, all I want to do is just go home. The family didn't know what to do or how to act. The doctors, I'm, doctors are really wonderful, but sometimes I think they're just interested in expensive treatments. And, and as a visiting pastor, I, I kept out of this decision-making. After many days of feeling terrible and not being able to go home, uh, having more of these treatments, my friend passed away in the hospital. And his family members felt that maybe they should have done some things differently. Some felt like they had let their loved one down. Others felt guilty that maybe they should have done more. Now, I'm not at all trying to make it seem like these medical providers are not able to do, are willing to do what's best for us as we get to the end of our lives. Uh, but, oh, they do absolute wonders trying to make things better. It's just an amazing what 
technology has allowed doctors to do for us anymore. But we're not able to, uh, or willing to do what's best for us if they don't know what it is, if we haven't told them. And we, they're just absolutely wonderful at what they do. But they need to know what our wishes are involving treatments. Senior Insights can, can email you samples of legal forms for your state that can give you the ability to let your desires be known before any possible emergency ever even arises. You just fill them out, get them notarized if needed in your state, give copies to your family, to your doctors, and be sure to keep forms, original forms, in a special place at home and let the family know where it is so that they can find them if the need arises. It's so very much on everyone's mind and concern to have a, a written guide to let them know just what your treatments, uh, your desires for treatments are. If the Lord were to take you or me as believers onto his eternal home, these forms can make handling of the business issues about a funeral and about your home and things, possessions, so much easier for your family. It seems that these things families don't want to talk about. Well, we don't ever want to address the fact that I'll probably get old and older and this old body isn't going to work like it works. Uh, still, uh, if or when one of these situations arises, you'll have this written guide for them and they'll know where to look. They know how to make the hard decisions to make a hard time for you easier for you and for them. Hopefully, you'll never be put into circumstances like these. But just be ready in case they come up. I'll be praying that each one of you listening to this never have to use this information. But some of us will need it. Be ready and make things easier when this need arises. If you have property or similar things that you wish to take care of, it's also the way you do it. Uh, if you're not able to speak or make these decisions at the time, it's written down. It seems so simple, but it's a very big help when these needs arise. Thank you for letting me bring this up again. I hope you're prepared, but never have to use the forms. Just have them ready so the family knows what to do and your desires and wishes guide them. Until next week, this is Pastor Bob. Now for our weekly blessing. Oh, may the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. And I pray you never have to use these things. God bless you, dear ones. Good day. How deep the Father's love for us How vast beyond all measure that he should give his only son to make a wretch his treasure. How great the pain of searing loss. The father turns his face away as wounds which mar the chosen one bring many sons to glory.